economic order quantity. Economic order quantity, which we could abbreviate with EOQ. The term is so vital in supply chain. Economic order quantity refers to the shares, the optimum amount. The optimum amount that allows you to minimize your cost and exploit all the conditions surround purchasing. We will demonstrate this concept through a simple story. So let's see this. A carpenter made wooden chairs, wanted to purchase wood to manufacture his chairs. But he wondered how much wood should he purchase. He called the supply chain expert. The supply chain expert asked him the following questions. How much shares does he produce annually? What is his ordering cost? What is his holding cost? The carpenter told the expert that he produces 1,200 shares a year and that takes the sign D. But the carpenter asked the expert about what he meant by ordering cost and holding cost. The expert told the carpenter that ordering cost is the cost the carpenter incurred to make a single order, like shipping cost and many other things. The cost the carpenter incurred to make a single order is $75 and that takes the sign S. The holding cost is all the costs the carpenter incurred for holding wood in the inventory, like rent, security, and many other things. The expert and the carpenter calculated the costs together and they agreed that the holding cost for the wood needed to make a single share is $4, and that takes the sign H. The expert took all the information and made the following equation. This equation demonstrates the relation between our three main items. Annual demand of the shares, setup or order cost, holding cost per unit and per year. Q star equal square root of 2ds over h. And the symbols used in that equation are Q star as optimal lot size, D as annual demand, S as setup or order cost, H as holding cost per unit and per year. After this simple calculation, the expert told the carpenter that the optimum amount of wood allowed him to exploit all the conditions around him to get the maximum benefit is wood enough to produce 213 shares. As we see, the calculation shows 212.13. But because there isn't 0.13 share, the expert told the carpenter to purchase wood enough to produce 213 shares. According to that result, and the carpenter annual demand of producing 1,200 shares. We can calculate the number of orders that the carpenter has to make this year. Number of orders equal annual demand over quantity for each single order. Number of orders equal 1,200 over 212.13 and that will equal 5.65 times a year. Take a deep look in our master equation. Do you note the missing item? The price of the wood doesn't exist in our equation. Material cost is constant. Again, material cost is constant and therefore isn't considered in our equation. 
This formula, in fact, demonstrates the basic concept we use when deciding the optimum lot size with constant material cost. Again, with constant material cost. The trade-off becomes between setup or order cost and holding cost. It's a very simple and straightforward formula. If we look carefully to that equation, we can conclude some general rules. Economic order quantity should increase if demand increased or order cost increased. Direct proportion. Economic order quantity should decrease if holding cost increased. Inverse proportion. Did you grasp those concepts well? Okay, that's good. Those concepts are useful when we deal with fixed price. Again, fixed price. But if the wood seller decided to offer a quantity discount, you will find a dramatic change. You will see how the wood seller, with the help of the supply chain expert, will make the quantity discount to induce the carpenter to buy more wood. That will increase the wood seller profit and liquidate the inventory. We will see that in our next episode. See you soon.